Hello everyone, this is Dhruv from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session where I will be talking about Google App Engine in cloud computing. So without any further ado, let's take a look at today's agenda. We will start this session by having an introduction to App Engine and also the Google Cloud Platform which provides the App Engine services. After that, we will get an overview of Google App Engine as well as its key features. Moving ahead, we will take a look at its architecture as well as its development cycle. Also, we will look at the components of an application and then finally for demo purpose, we will implement a simple app through Google App Engine. Before we begin, do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on trending technologies. And also, if you are interested in online training certification in Google Cloud Platform, check out the link given in the description box below. So you might be thinking what an App Engine is. So let's have a little introduction to App Engine. It is a fully managed serverless platform for developing and hosting web applications at scale. You can choose from several popular languages, libraries, and frameworks to develop your apps. Then let App Engine take care of provisioning servers and scaling your app instances based on demand. Now let's get an overview of Google Cloud Platform. Offered by Google, it is a suite of cloud computing services that runs on the same infrastructure that Google uses internally for its end user products, such as Google Search, Gmail, file storage and YouTube. Along with set of management tools, it provides a series of modular cloud services including computing, data storage, data analytics and machine learning. For organizations with large amounts of data to store and analyze, Google Cloud Storage prices are up to 20% cheaper than AWS. If you know about AWS, it is Amazon Web Services, the largest cloud computing platform. And see, still Google Cloud Platform is cheaper than AWS. While there is no difference in the price of container services, Google Cloud is an industry leader in the field and is also investing heavily in AI and machine learning technologies. Many small and large enterprises are increasingly adopting Google Cloud Platform, which bodes well since it disengages things and makes them more secure at reasonable costs. Now that we have understood what App Engine and Google Cloud Platform is, now let's understand App Engine service provided by Google Cloud Platform, that is Google App Engine. If I talk about Google, then we all know that it provides an enormous range of tools, products and services. In the running market, Google has scored high percentile and left the footprint in the list of world's top four companies. So Google App Engine, by the name only, we can recognize that Google has created an App Engine. The name is similar to a search engine, but its uh, purpose is of course different. App Engine is a service and cloud computing platform employed for developing and hosting web applications. It is a platform as a service cloud computing platform that is entirely managed and utilizes inbuilt services to drive the apps. Once after downloading the SDK that is software development kit, you can instantly start the development process. But for this, it is mandatory to use technical knowledge. If you don't know the technical terms, then there is no need to take tension. Okay, as there are many IT industries in the market that are providing Google App Engine development services. App Engine lets you build highly scalable applications on a fully managed serverless platform. Also, you can scale your applications from zero to planet scale without having to manage infrastructure. Okay. Also, you can free up your developers with zero server management and zero configuration deployments. You can even stay agile with support for popular development languages and a range of developer tools with Google App Engine. Now let's look at some key features of Google App Engine. If you see the pro programming languages, the platform supports PHP, C, Java, Python, Go, Node.js, .NET, and Ruby applications. And apart from this, it also supports other programming languages through custom runtimes. The App Engine serves 350 plus billion requests per day. Now, if you see like how Google App Engine is actually open and flexible, so so custom runtimes in Google App Engine allows you to bring any library and framework to App Engine by supplying a Docker container. So you can customize runtimes or provide your own runtime by supplying a customer Docker image or Docker file from the open source community. Then you can see like Google App Engine is actually fully managed. So Google App Engine is a fully managed environment which makes it easy to build and deploy an application that runs uh, reliably even under heavy load and with large amounts of data and which lets you focus on code while App Engine manages infrastructure concerns. Let's now see the architecture of Google App Engine. So this is how a simplified architecture looks like. Among the main services and structures available are Google Load Balancer, which manages the load balancing of the applications. Then we have Frontend App, which is responsible for redirecting requests for appropriate services. 
Then we have memcache that is a cache memory shared between instances of a Google app engine generating high speed in the availability of the information on the server and task queues is used which is like a task queues if you see that is a mechanism that provides a redirection of long tasks to backend servers making front end servers free for new users requests in addition google app engine also has static and dynamic storage uh, solutions the static storage solution provides the file storage service called cloud storage whereas the dynamic storage uh, solution provides relational database services such as uh, cloud sql and no relational no sql such as cloud data store now let's see the development cycle of google app engine here if you see test build and deploy is the software development kit means sdk so sdk is a set of software development tools that allows the creation of applications for a certain software package software framework hardware platform computer system video game console also operating system or similar development platforms the next one in the cycle is manage which is an app engine administration control and then we have upgrades like all the updates are being provided for deployment to software development kit now let's uh, look at the components of an application the app engine application is created under your google cloud project when you create an application resource the app engine application is a top level container that includes the service version and instance resources that make up your app when you create your app engine app all your resources are created in the region that you choose including your app code along with a collection of settings credentials and your apps metadata each app engine application includes at least one service the default service which can hold many versions depending on your app billing's status the following diagram illustrates the hierarchy of an app engine application running with multiple services in the diagram the app has two services that contain multiple versions and two of those versions are actively running on multiple instances so let's understand service inside is so you can use services in app engine to factor your large apps into logical components that can securely share app engine features and communicate with one another generally your app engine services behave like microservices therefore you can run your whole app in a single service or you can design and deploy multiple services to run as a set of microservices for example an app that handles your customer request might include separate services that each handle different tasks such as api requests from mobile devices internal administration type requests backend processing such as uh, billing pipelines and data analysis each service in app engine consists of the source code from your app and the corresponding app engine configuration files the set of files that you deploy to your service represent a single version of that service and each time that you deploy to that service you are creating additional versions within that same service then we have versions having multiple versions of your app within each service allows you to quickly switch between different versions of the app for rollbacks testing or other temporary events you can route traffic to one or more specific versions of your app by migrating or splitting traffic then we have instances so the versions within your services run on one or more instances okay by default app engine scales your app to match the load your apps will scale up the number of instances that are running to provide consistent performance or scale down to minimize idle instances and reduce its cost for more information about instances see how instances are managed okay i will explain you that in the demo so now that you have a theoretical understanding of google app engine let's implement a simple app through google app engine so you can just go to google cloud platform open it we have console and we have documents also open the console also yeah remember that if you don't have an account on google cloud platform it's a very good platform to have your account on just create your account it will ask for your some basic details of your name and uh, phone numbers and address and it will also ask for your credit and debit card details it will just deduct 1 rupee and that will also be refunded within a while and free trial you will get 300 dollar credit for 90 days and you can use that credit for like i'm showing you some exercises inside google app engine you can perform those exercises using the those credit okay so you can just we have opened the dashboard and let's go to the documents part inside this we have to go to the compute product under compute we have app engine so here it is compute app engine then go to standard environment to python we are going to implement a simple app of hello world using python quick start these are the table of contents for how we are going to implement the app okay so inside this is the first step is you have to create a project in google cloud platform this is how the dashboard of google cloud platform looks like 
and you go here this is the demo means uh, it's written because that's the name of my project these are the same number of projects i've been here but you can also go to new project and create okay so let's go to here second step is remember when you are creating the project ensure that billing is enabled for that okay then the third step is uh, just open it from here enable the api open this and just enable the api then we just remember the next step additional prerequisites uh, it's not required okay so yes then we go to the hello world app so what we have to do is we just have to go to the app engine here remember i explained you uh, the application components in, inside which we have services versions and instances this is the same thing when you create an app the services will be provided and the versions will be created and also the instances will be created for that so what we have to do is just open the cloud shell from here activate cloud shell So what we have to do is go to the documents part. Remember this; uh, these steps are here. Download the Hello World app. Yeah, how we have to implement it? You have to copy this. You have to clone a GitHub repository, okay? Inside which the Hello World program is already present. So, yeah, just have to clone it. So just paste it here. Just enter. Then we can go to the editor here. So yeah, we have to go to the Hello World program. So we have to go to the Python docs samples. Then. We have to go inside this to App Engine, then to Flexible, and then the Hello World program. Where is, uh, yeah, Hello World. Yeah, in Hello World, we have uh, main.py. Yeah, this is the Python program. All the, all like the, we are going to use Flask for it. So, using Flask, we are creating this. We don't, you don't have to code of it. We, you can just use it uh, like this only. It's just a simple demo. And then we have uh, app.yaml file with all the specifics are being given here. So what you can do is you have understood the path here. Okay, so we can just uh, go back to the terminal. The uh, repository we have already cloned. What you can see here is that the repository is already cloned. But the thing is, uh, when you're doing, when you're going to do it for the first time now, the directory won't be existing. So it will clone and it will take a little time. So it will get cloned. Okay. Mine is already showing that uh, it already exists because I have already tried uh, the demo here. Okay, so yeah. So what we can do is uh, we can go to we can type here for we have to input the path, right? So for inputting the path, we can just type ls then cd. What was the rotation? Python docs. Else app engine. The further path will be given by again ls cd flexible. Sorry, hello world. Then we just have to deploy the app. So just give the command gcloud app deploy. Just authorize it. What hap uh, so what happened here is it's asking for me to continue. But if you are going to do it for the first time, it will ask you to select your project. Like uh, my project uh, name is demo with the billing enabled. So remember that you have to. There will be a certain list of projects. So you have to select one project, and then there will be another uh, option of uh, you like press enter after that by selecting the project. It will ask for the region. So you have to select a region okay like my region is uh, asia south so you have to select your region and then it will ask for you to continue so you just have to type the y here it doesn't usually take this long but uh, today i think there is a little server problem that's why it's taking this long i hope you have understood till now the like the theoretical part also and also the like this implementation also till now remember those codes which i have told you right for the path one and also for the cloning one cloning one will be given for the path one you have to remember that okay so you can see here uh, like uh, services and uh, versions and instances are given when you create this project a service will be created and uh, yeah this is a single services uh, being created inside that the versions will be created so i have created a new version in that like this one through cloud shell i have created a new version this one it is just serving right now right it's to a stop this i have already Run ran before this one is ours 2021 this 5441 this is the version we have created okay so in instance this is not showing right now but uh, this shows when you it's get implemented now but it, when in this app starts running it uh, shows all the information regarding that okay so yeah that's good so yeah the service is updated yeah it's almost done now yeah so what you can do is yeah here is the link can just uh, copy the link go to the app. yes we got it hello world right 
with this we come to an end of today's session of what is google cloud platform i hope you had a great time learning and understanding about it and if you have any queries please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below until next time thank you i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning